Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to run school management system in PHP and MySQL. All right, so if you have XAMPP installed in your system, I would like to click on it. Mine is already open and I have already started the uh, Apache and the MySQL. So quickly, I'm just going to open a new uh, tab in my Windows Explorer and then, sorry, in my in my browser okay sorry about that uh, just going to open a new tab in my browser and then i'm going to type localhost i'm going to type localhost and then i'm going to type php php my admin and then i'm going to hit enter key in my keyboard Alright, so now we have a PHP my admin in our browser as a home page. Okay, of a PHP my admin. And then I'm gonna click on new. That's what we want to do now. We want to create a new database for our project. And then for the database name, for us to be sure that uh, the database must be the same, exactly what we have in our, our connection strings. Then I'm going to open the database folder in the source file. Then I'm going to copy the database name, just highlight it and then copy. Then I'm going to go back to my web browser. Then under the database name text box, and I'm just going to paste. Then I'm going to hit the create button. So I have created the database and then we have the create table uh, page. So for this, I am not going to create any tables, okay? So I have imported or exported the um, tables and all of that for this project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on import. So I'm going to click on browse to locate where I have saved the database name or our tables so for those who don't know how to do this i'm just going to click on local dicks and take you um, through the process then i'm going to click double click on zam i'm going to double click on ht docs and then i'm going to look for the folder with the name school school then i'm going to double click on the school folder and then i'm going to double click on the database folder okay so this is what i'm looking for i'm going to click on it and then i'm going to click on open button so now that we have uh browse the database tables then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on go so once these queries are successfully um, executed, I'm going to get a successful message right here. So we need to wait for it and uh, see what happens. So guys, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button and also like the video and then you can also click on the notification bell. So while we are waiting for the queries to be executed, I think it's going to be... Okay, let us wait for it. So import has successfully finished, 58 queries executed. All right, so we have created a database and we have also imported these um, queries. That's our, all our tables, okay, under this database has been imported. So I'm gonna click on this cool underscore DB uh, database so that we can view all our tables. So these are all the tables that we have in this database. So quickly, I'm going to take you to another tab. I'm going to open another tab where I'm going to load the website. 
So I'm going to type localhost, and then this time it's not going to be PHP my admin, but it's going to be school. And I'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard. All right, so the first page that you're going to see is the login page. Uh, we have the school management. So I'm going to enter the email. Then I'm going to type my passwords. Then I'm going to click on the sign in button. Okay, so we are now in the admin dashboard. So the first thing we are going to see, as you can see right here, we have a total number of two staff and the total number of two teachers, then a mock income and a total income. All right, so quickly, I'm going to take you to the classroom. And then we are going to see how we can create um, a new classroom. Okay, as you can see, I have just created this um, classrooms uh, while testing the system so quickly we have one a we have two a okay so I'm going to create one B so I'm going to create one B class name you know say one B then student counts one B they are just 19 students in one B so I'm going to say summit so I've clicked on the submit button. So your information has been successfully inserted. So let's scroll down to see. Okay, so this is what we have here. We have one B, we have one A, so we have one B. So that's what primary one. All right, so I'm going to go to subject. Let me click on subject on the, uh, on the menu bar. Okay, that's the sidebar menu. Click on subjects. All right, so we have uh, we have English language, we have mathematics. Okay, so let's see how we can create new subject for this uh, demo purpose. So I'm going to say find ads. Then I'm going to click on the summit button. Okay, so our record has been accepted. Let's check it. Find out. Okay, that's target number three. So quickly, let's see how we can. Uh, I've clicked on um, create. That's on the um, on the menu, sidebar menu. So let's see what we have here. So for primary one, we have this admission fee, institution fee, and all of that. So let's see how we can add this. Okay. So on great, we have primary one. Okay, so we have added this already. So I'm just going to create this uh, differently. Okay, so you can know how to add this yourself. So I'm going to say primary three this time around. And then the admission fee is going to be 10,000. All this record are for demo purpose. And I'm going to say 45,000. Instruction fee, admission fee. Okay. So, I'm going to click on the submit button. Let's check our record if it has been submitted. Okay, we have it right here, primary three. So, remember what we are. Uh, Focusing on is primary one, as uh, primary one B for a class. So I just show, I'm just uh, showing you how to enter this grid. Okay, so we have primary one here already. So quickly, I'm just going to go to teachers. Let's see all teachers. I've clicked on all teachers. So let's click on this first person, first teacher. So we have all this record here for this teacher, okay? So I'm going to click on... Okay, let's go back and see how we can add teacher quickly, teacher quickly. I'm going to click on teacher. Add teacher. 
All right, so quickly, I'm just going to enter the index number for this teacher. All right, so the teacher name, I'm going to say teacher three, teacher three, teacher three, and then email address for this teacher is going to be teacher three at gmail.com. Then the gender for this teacher is going to be female. And then the phone number is going to be for testing purpose. Sorry, the address is going to be address and it's going to be email address. Okay. So address is going to be demo address one two five six street. Okay, so let's scroll down and upload this teacher's photo. So I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to go to picture, I'm going to go to avatar and then I'm going to select one of these avatars. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up to see if I have filled every single um, text box or anything I'm, I'm supposed to fill on this page so I'm okay with it and then I'm going to click on the submit button oh okay and this doesn't look like a phone number sorry so I'm just going to enter something that looks like a phone number okay just a random number that looks like a phone number for demo purpose actually so I'm going to click on Summit. All right, so our record has been submitted. We have successfully um, added a new teacher. So let's go back and see this record that we have submitted. Okay, so we have this, so let's see. So you can go ahead and add salary for this teacher, okay? So let's go back. Let's see subject routine, okay? Let's see how we can assign this teacher to. So I'm going to assign this teacher. I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to click on create. See primary one, the subject. Find at and then the teacher. Um, I'm going to say um, teacher, teacher, teacher three, and then the fee, the subject fee. Uh, for demo purpose, of course, I'm just going to enter any record uh, amount right here. So if I'm okay with what I've entered, then I'm going to click on the submit button. Okay, so this record has been submitted successfully. As, as you can see, this is the record right here. So from my world, find out teacher three, and the, 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 the fee is 20,000 Naira. Okay, so we can go back right here, and let's see how we can add a new student. First of all, let's see how all the student records. I've clicked on that, so I'm gonna click on primary uh sorry on the grade so i'm gonna click on primary one first let's see okay just one record so quickly let's go back and add new students so i'm gonna click on add new students or add student okay all right so i'm gonna quick uh fill this form quickly let's see how we can add new students so the student name is going to be um, student3 and then the address is 157 demonstrate. Then the gender is going to be, I say male, and then the phone number of the students are going to use any random number that looks like a phone number. Okay? So the student email is going to be student 
three at gmail.com. Remember, all this records are for demo purpose. So I'm going to click on the browse button to upload the student photo. All right, so for this, I'm going to um, use this person three avatar. Okay, so I'm going to click on the next button. So the grade for this student, I'm going to say primary one. Okay, so I'm going to add this student to find out class and of course I'm going to add the student to okay let's just add the student to this final class okay or okay yeah let's just do that for demo purpose so if you've added so many classes for primary one okay so you can submit all of this so for this purpose let me just use the final class so I'm going to click on submit right there okay so all this record has been submitted so quickly I'm going to say pay All right, asking for prints. I'm just going to close this because I'm not printing anything. Okay, so let's go back and check if the student record has been submitted all students. Okay, so let's go to primary one and submit. So as you can see, as you can see, we have this student record right here. Okay, so you can fill up upgrade grade of student, you can add payment, you can view payment. Okay, then let's click on this to view the student record. So this is what we have here. This um, student record. You can also view this student payment. Okay, so. All right, so as you can see, we have the payment history for all the students. So quickly, so this is how this um, um, sc um, school management system works. Okay, only use it for educational purpose. Thank you for watching.